When you have a database in Access, you want to get information out of it. You want to get overviews, summaries, calculations. This is a very simple database that I am using. Workers, employees are in a departments, so each department has many employees. So the, the second ID, the department ID, the foreign key is in the table employees and the primary key is employee ID. And one employee has timesheets. They work per hours. They get an hourly rate per hour. And we record every week how many hours they worked. So how do we get information out of here? Here is our first total query. It calculates what we pay weekly per department. How do we get that information? First of all, you make sure when you do queries that you make it a totals query. This is the button that does that. When you do that, you get a new row in your grid screen that says total. And in this case, I group by department. That's how I got the split for each department. And then I do a calculation in a new field. That field is handmade. You give it a name. And the new name of the field has to be followed by a colon and a space. And then you do a calculation. You take whatever is in the hours field, multiply it by the hourly rate field, and sum all of that. The question is now, what do you do in the total row? You have to put something in there. Don't put sum again, for you did that already in your calculation. So we have to make that an expression. So now we get beautifully overviews like this. Let's take our second one. The second one finds out how many people are full-timers, eight, what is the sum of the hours they all work, the 35-hour people, etc., etc. The idea is very simple now. We make sure, first of all, that it's a totals query by clicking on the totals button, group by hours, and then we count the employee ID. So we give that field a new name, count, colon, space, the field employee ID. Sometimes you have to put a field name inside brackets, so that is needed if your field name has spaces in it. So we do an operation here and we count the employee IDs. And then finally we sum the hours of those employees. The field name is sum hours colon space, then the field hours, and sum them. So your drop down list here is a sum option. And we get this result. This one is a little more complicated. We are going to count how many people make more than $15 per hour. The answer is 9. How did we get this? First of all, you have to create a field that counts how many employees we have. So I named it count greater than $15 employee ID. But you have to make sure that you only count the employee ID where the hourly rate is more than 15. So we create a new column based on the field hourly rate. In criteria, we put greater than 15, and we make this a aware condition. That means it, it's a filter, and the end result is this. This one says we want the average rate of all the employees. I don't think that this is a surprise anymore. So we use the field hourly rate. We give it a new name. And in the total row, we average it. Why did I make this query? Because I'm going to need it in the next total query. We are going to count how many people are above average. How did we get that result? It was not 15 yet, because I had not put in what the hourly rate limit is. 
I'm counting the employee ID, so I get all the employees. But how do I make sure that their hourly rate is above average? I have to put in that other query that I just created. So we are going in the design screen, we are going to add another, not table, but query. And the query is called query average rate. We add that one. There is no connection between those two, but I need from that query the field average rate. If the hourly rate is greater than the average rate, I want to count you. So we are going to put in here the hourly rate again as a where condition. Greater than, equal to the field average rate. So if I would zoom in, this is what you will see there. And that field average rate comes from the query, query average rate. So now we will find out that the actual number of employees is 7. Then we have one that finds out, sorry this is an old database, but how many hours did they work in 2002 and in 2003? You see the company is doing well, it went up quite a bit. How did we get that result? First of all, we have to make sure that we sum the hours worked in the second field. That is a very easy one, there is nothing new, we call it sum hours worked. We use the field hours worked that comes from the table timesheets. But what do we do in the first field? We are going to zoom in. We call that field year, colon space, and then I use a function in access that is called date part. The date part function says I want from the end date field the part of that is the year part and how do we make that the year part we put inside double quotes y y y y if you want the month part double quotes m double quotes and then we group that by year and we get this result the next one and the last one is a little fancier we split per year and then per month. Month 12 is December, so in 2002 we only had December timesheets. The sum of the hours worked, January, February. Why is this one a little more complicated? The first column is clear, we discussed that already. We take the year part from end date. The second one is the month part date part, double quotes, M, double quotes. And then in the third field, we added one more function to date part. So date part is nested within another function, and that function is month name. The month name of 1 is January, 2 is February, etc., etc., etc. We group by, and then the last one is peanut sum the hours worked and we make that a sum field. What is so different about this one that if you had done month name only, I'm, I'm going to move month name to the second position and this is what you would get. A little surprise. You get in 2003 February before January because how does access in a query sort it sorts by year, then by month name, and then by month in this case. So if I do that, I don't get them in the right order. So I have to move that column to the front position. So I get this result. So it sorts in 2003, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 through 12. So, and I, but I actually want only the month name, so I'm going to hide the month field by just click the show button off and I get a beautiful 
end result, December 2002 is this, January, February. These are summary or total queries, as Access calls them. They give you so much power to get information out of your database, but this is just the tip of the iceberg. You need much more and you can do much more with all of this. So I developed for you a CD-ROM that goes much more into sorted searches, filtered searches, parameter filters and multiple tables. You can get that access database CD-ROM through genesispc.com and it will give you many more secrets on this issue and many other issues in access.